Yo Ashray, have you heard of this tool called Caddy? It's a 3D cut visualization tool that utilizes hand tracking to interact with objects. Your next mission is to research the tool, recreate this interaction, and most importantly, teach our wonderful XR community how to build it. All right, three, two, one, go. So by the looks of it, the most obvious thing that they're using is post detection. Now to get the explorer view, I'm sure there's several ways in which it can be done, but I feel the easiest way is to create the animation of the parts moving away and play it based on the distance between our hands. Now we can do this even without animation so that it can work with any model that you have, but I'll talk about that later on. Now to create the explorer view, there are several concepts that we need to know such as hand pose detection, hand interactions, animations, depth API and others. I'll be teaching you all these concepts, but not in this single video. In this video, you'll learn everything about creating hand poses and hand pose detection. In the next video, we'll see how to implement the hand pose detection to create the exploded view and finally convert it into a mixed reality application. Let's start by downloading our base project from GitHub. You can find the link in the description. Once you have it, open the project from Unity Hub. Now make sure that you're using the editor version 2022.3.1 LDS or above because I'll be showing you something cool at the end. Now, if you don't want the cool stuff, depth API, then you can use the older version of Unity as well. So here we have an empty project that has been set up with the latest Meta SDK, which is version 60. And it has also been set up with all the player settings. All you need to do is go to file, build settings, click on Android platform and switch the platform. Then select the main camera, get rid of that. Then select Oculus tools, building blocks. Now this will open up a new window. From this window, we want to add the camera rig. We want to add hand tracking. We want to add grabbable items and we want to add synthetic hands as well. Then close this window. Now in your hierarchy, you can see that a lot of things have been added. We have to set up a few things. So the first thing is to select the left hand grab, open the visual and inside grab hand visual, we need to add synthetic hands. So make sure to select the synthetic left hand and drag and drop it in here like that. Similarly, we need to do it for the right hand as well. So let's select right hand grab, open the visual, open hand grab visual and add the synthetic right hand over here. And then scroll all the way up, select the camera rig and inside the OVR manager, if you're using Quest 3, make sure to check this as well. And in the project window, search for large room and make sure that the search is applicable for all in, for the packages as well. And you can add this to your scene. Next, search for skybox gradient, select it and drag and drop this into your scene as well. So with that, we have our basic scene set up. Now, before we start creating hand poses, there are four concepts that you should know. First one is curl. This represents how bent the top two joints of your fingers are. So based on it, there are three states. First is the open state wherein your fingers are not curled. The second is the neutral state where they are slightly curled. And the third one is the closed state where the fingers are tightly curled inwards, as you can see in this image here. The second concept is flexion. Now this represents how bent your knuckle joint is in relation to your palm. Now this has three states as well. The first one is the open state where it is fully extended. There is no bend between the fingers and your palm. The second is neutral state where it, there is a slight bend. And the fourth one is closed state where there's a complete bend at your knuckle joint. Here you need to keep in mind that the flexion is applicable only for the four fingers and for the thumb, it is not. The third concept is abduction. So this is the angle between the two adjacent fingers. So this has three states once again. In the open state, the fingers are spread apart. In the closed state, they are close together. And the third state is none, which means they're not currently in use. Also note that the abduction on pinky is not supported. And the last concept is opposition, which tells you how close a given finger is to the thumb. So you can use it with index, middle, ring and pinky. You cannot use two different fingers. So it's only with respect to the thumb. Here we have three states. Once again, if the distance between the fingertips are less than 1.5 centimeter, then it's called as touching. If it is between 1.5 to 15, it's called as near. And if it is more than 15, then it's called as none. Now to create the hand pose in your asset folder, right click and create a folder called as hand pose. In here, you can right click, create, Oculus, Interactions, SDK, Post Detection and click on Shape. And let's call our shape as Exploded View. Also copy this name and paste it inside the shape name as well. Originally in the app, they're using the two finger pose with the palm facing towards the face. So in this way, and when you move like this, the exploded view is seen. So we'll do something similar, but instead of towards the face, we'll do it away from the face. So let's configure each of our finger. Starting with the thumb, we need to select curl and make sure that the curl is not open. So for this pose, you can see that the curl is not open. 
Next, for the index finger, we need all the three of them, which is curl, flexion, and abduction. Now, for the index finger, you can see that the curl should not be closed. It can be neutral or open. So, in that case, we will set this as is not closed. And you can see that the flexion also should not be closed. It can be neutral or open. So, we will set it as is not closed. Now, for the abduction, we don't want it to be open. So, we will set it as is not open. Now for the middle finger, we just need two of them, which is curl and flexion because there's no abduction here. Now the curl is also going to be the same, which is, is not closed. Flexion is also going to be, is not closed. Now for the ring and pinky finger, we need to make sure that the curl is not open and we need to make sure that the flexion is not open as well. For that, we'll select the ring finger feature and let's select curl and flexion. And here we'll say is not open and this is not open as well. Similarly for the pinky finger as well. All right, so with that, we have the hand pose ready. Next, let's implement the hand pose detection. Now to do that, we need to add finger feature state providers to our left and right hand. So open the camera rig, open the interactions. So in here, we have the left hand. So open that up and we have the hand features left. Click on add component and add finger feature state provider. Now here we need to add the threshold for all the five fingers. So let's add it to the list starting with the thumb. So here initially there's nothing. You can click on the symbol over here. Uh, you can click on the eye symbol over here. And now you'll be able to see the default thumb feature state threshold. So select that. Click on the plus sign. Let's open this up. Select index. And from this menu, we are going to select the index finger feature state threshold. Now let's do this for all the fingers. Okay, so we have added the threshold for all the fingers. For ring and pinky, it's called as default finger state. Rest all of them have their individual names attached to it. Next, we need to do the same for the right hand as well. All you need to do is click on the three dots over here. Click on copy component. Open the right hand. Select hand feature right. Click on the three dots here. Paste the component as new. And all you need to do is change it from left hand to right hand. Next, let's go ahead and create an empty game object and call it as pose detection and then create another game object as a child of it and call it as left hand pose. For this object, add a component called as hand reference and add another component called as shape recognizer active state. So since we are targeting the left hand, let's open the camera rig. Under interaction, select your left hand, drag and drop it inside the reference and then select the reference and drag and drop it inside the hand value over here. Next, it needs the finger feature state provider. Again, since we are working on the left hand, select hand feature left drag it and drop it inside this next we need to add a shape which we created exploded view so click on the plus symbol and drag and drop it inside over here now to test and debug our hand pose in the project folder you can search for hand shape debug visual select the prefab drag and drop it in your scene now here we need to add the finger feature state so since we're doing it for left hand let us select left hand features add it over here shape recognizer is attached to our left hand pose so drag and drop this over here next a shape recognizer is required here as well so drag and drop this over here finally click on the finger feature skeletal debug visual select the prefab drag and drop it into your scene now here we need to add the finger feature state provider which is there on our hand features left so select it drag and drop it in here and finally select the hand shape debug visual and change it from the prefab from your project folder to the one that you have added to your scene so now all you need to do is connect your headset to your laptop and connect with air link or link like i have and then all you need to do is press play but before that let us move this box forward here like that and click on the play button now for the right hand you can't see anything because we haven't added anything but for the left hand you can see that we have lines which is meant for debugging so green indicates that it's uh, it's matching with the pose that we have given and that will turn green only when all the poses match so when i do the finger state you can see that it's matching even if one finger is wrong for example if i make the abduction higher it turns red saying that the abduction is not right now we know that our pose is working perfectly fine now as you could see the pose was getting detected irrespective of our hand pose direction but we want the pose to get detected only when the hand is facing away from the face so to do that you need to select the hand features left which is under left hand and add a component called as transform feature state provider now this will automatically tag all of them if not make sure to add the hand which is going to be your left hand hmd which is going to be the ovr hmd and the tracking towards face is on your interactions then do the same for the right hand as well let's go ahead and add a component 
and here as well it's added automatically. Then select left hand pose and add a component called as transform recognizer active state. This needs a hand reference so you can select the hand reference drag and drop it over here. It needs transform feature state which we just added so on the left hand you can select hand features drag and drop it over here. It needs a transform feature configuration so here is where we decide in which direction the hand pose should get detected so for us we want the palm to be facing away from the face only then we want the pose to get detected next we need to set the transform configuration we can leave all these parameter as it is for the last one which needs a feature threshold you can click on this button unhide everything and you can select the default transform feature state threshold all right, so at this point of time, we have our shape recognizer, we have our transform recognizer. Now we need to somehow make sure that only when the shape and the transform recognizer is active, only then we want the detection to happen. So for that, we need to add another component called as active state group. And in here, we need to add both the states. So the first state is going to be the shape recognizer state. And the second one is the transform recognizer state and the logic operator is and which means that only when the shape and the transform are recognized then we can do something so in order to use that we need to add another component which is called as active state selector and in here we need to drag and drop the active state group and finally in order to make use of all the events we need to add a component called as selector unity event wrapper there we go and here we need to add the selector which is nothing but the active state selector. So by adding all these components now we'll be able to use when selected when unselected events to do something of our own. Now to add pose detection to our right hand select left hand pose duplicate it and name this as right hand pose. And then we need to change the hand reference from left hand to right hand. Similarly you can see that the finger feature state is currently attached to the left hand but we need to change it to the right hand. And similarly, we need to change the transform feature as well to right hand. And that's it. Now to test this out, what we can do is we can take the grabbable item that we had added earlier, bring it above here and let me place it slightly behind like this and then select the left hand pose. And when the left hand pose is detected, we want to take the grabbable item, select hand grab interactable and we want to set bool enable to true. And when we make the right hand pose, we want to set it to false. All right, so let's press play and test this out. All right, so here we have the scene. Now I'm going to make the left hand pose and make sure that this is grabbable. Now I'm going to make the right hand pose and now you can see that I cannot grab this anymore. So now you know how to create hand poses and use hand pose detection to do basic stuff. But I'll be covering how to control your animation using hand pose detection in the next video, which you can check it out over here. Please make sure to like and subscribe and I will see you in the next one.